Up to this point, we have been focusing on the music theory topics that are entirely diatonic, that is, containing only pitches of the major and minor scales. But composers do not only stick to the pitches of those given scales, nor do they compose using only one scale or key in a piece. This, mo this module begins our discussion of chromaticism, a discussion that will continue until the end of the curriculum. Chromaticism is the use of pitches of the chromatic scale in addition to, or instead of, the pitches that belong to the diatonic scale in a given key. The chromatic scale divides the octave into all 12 of its semitones. Here is what the chromatic scale sounds like. The root of the word chromatic comes from the Greek word chronos, which means color. To change the color of a chord means to add pitches to or change some of the pitches of a chord or scale. I like to say that color chords are often the chords that make you think ooh when you hear them. One easy way to add chromaticism to music is in the form of chromatic non-harmonic tones. Any of the previously discussed non-harmonic tones from Module 22 can be altered to include chromaticism. For example, the opening of Beethoven's Fur Elise presents a repeated chromatic lower neighbor tone. Or tone. Composers use chromaticism to extend passages or to emphasize cadences through the use of applied chords. An applied chord also known as a secondary dominant and or a secondary leading tone chord, is a chromatic alteration of a harmony that creates a temporary dominant tonic relationship on a scale degree other than the tonic of the key. Because we must modify chord pitches from those of the diatonic scale, an applied chord is an example of an altered chord, another category that we will focus on for the remainder of the curriculum. Altered chords are chords with one or more notes from the diatonic scale replaced by a neighboring pitch in the chromatic scale. Let's look at an example. Here is a simple chord progression in D major. Let's insert an applied chord before the minor 2-6 chord. Here is what the progression sounds like, like now. Let's look at how this new chord is spelled. Its root is B. Its quality is major. It contains the chromatic pitch D sharp, which is not part of the written key signature of D major. Its root, B, descends by fifth of the root of the two chord, E. This is an example of an applied dominant harmony. We would analyze this chord as the five of the two chord. We can notate this as a Roman numeral two different ways. First, it is common to analyze this chord with a forward slash, a forward slash, such as five slash two, and we would say five of two. It is also common, and sometimes much neater, to simply use a curved arrow, showing the circle of fifths root motion from the applied chord to the chord it is embellishing. What we've done here is harmony to the chord built on scale degree two. When we write an applied dominant, we briefly tonicize the chord that follows. In this example, we briefly sound like we're in E minor. In fact, if we isolate these two chords, it sounds like an imperfect authentic cadence in E minor. Tonicization is briefly thinking in a new key. It is different than modulation, which we will learn about in the next module. Modulation is changing from the current key to a completely new key. Tonicization is brief, includes only a few chords, and does not contain a cadence in a new key. An applied dominant can be either a major triad or a major minor seventh chord. In this example, I've replaced the triad with a seventh chord.
applied chords can be in an inversion and embellish any chord built on any scale degree other than the tonic. Since a leading tone chord can often function as a dominant substitution, there are also applied leading tone chords. Let's look at the, the same harmonic progression from before, but instead of an applied dominant, we'll write an applied leading tone chord. Here is what the new progressions are. An applied leading tone chord is built on the temporary leading tone of the tonicization. In this case, our temporary tonic chord is built on the pitch E, and the applied leading tone chord is built on the temporary leading tone of E, D sharp. Applied leading tone chords can be diminished triads, half diminished seventh chords, or fully diminished seventh chords. In this case, the applied leading tone chord is fully diminished. A second chromatic alteration was needed to make this chord quality. When part writing applied chords, you follow your writing a dominant to tonic progression. Resolve all chordal sevenths down by step, and treat any temporary leading tone like a regular leading tone. If it's in an outer voice, it must resolve to the temporary tonic. If it's in an inner voice, it can, voice, it can resolve up to the temporary tonic or down to the fifth of the chord it progresses to.